everybody. Here in this, I'm going to show you how to make a fire tornado for under five bucks. That's right, five bucks. This is all we need. Some tubing, these glass lamps, old lamp caps that you can get from Goodwill for 99 cents. Piece of paper, a pen, some scissors, and a glue gun. Yes, it's purple. I don't have much more than five bucks to spend, so this is what I got. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to take our lamp vase. These work better, kind of the reverse hourglass. I tried these, not that great, but we can use that later, actually. Take this, I'm going to put it on a piece of paper, draw an outline. sections I'm guessing right here you don't want to make them longer probably the most you want to make them would be about five inches when you get too much you get too much internal pressure all right so we're gonna cut a whole bunch of these that's so Start the first one. Hey, you want these long ways up so you can fit more, get more air flow in. Simply just tack it. In place with one bead of glue. We're gonna take the next one. Overlap it. Tell I don't know if you can see that on this camera. So you got this line within coming like this. Since we have that one already tacked, we don't have to tack on the bottom anymore. Let's tack it on the top. Now we're going to keep going like this until we make a complete circle. I'm going to take this last one. So, right, we're gonna let that dry for a second. See how the pattern goes. All right, the way it sits right now, you can use it as a fire tornado. We want to make it better, though. We're gonna sit here. fire tornado. It is not all that great. It is all not that high. So, to make this better, we have to close in the seals with hot glue. Glue it to the base. So, the better seal you get around all this, the better it's actually going to be. So, it's not a bad fire tornado. Just a little bit small. So what we're going to do now is fill up all the gaps with hot glue. Alright, now we've filled up the whole top and it is glued to the base now. That one tack that we put in, we get a little gentle tug and it is off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cap all the bottom. Follow along the rim and just put little beads of glue in to help cap it off. The better seal you get, the better your fire, fire tornado will be. Alright, now that we have a semi seal, it's good enough. It's good enough I can do with my $5 budget. I'm going to take 
take a knife or actually just cut along around the outside to make it all smooth because as the air is coming in through these it hits this and it shoots out into the middle that's giving us a lot lazier fire tornado so all you have to do is follow the line let me just cut down now we're against the glass just follow the glass all the way around Make sure they don't have oils on them the hot glue is not going to stick so I'm going to wait for that one to dry and get back to it. In the meantime I'm going to remove all these little strands from well, a cheap hot glue gun that my wife has. Finish up this. Last one. Alright, there we have it. Cut out. So the flow comes in, they don't impede with each other. The better you get this, the better it's going to be. I don't have much of a budget or much of a tool to get this done. This is what I can do. This is what you can copy to do and do one yourself for well, between the piping and the tube and a little container and everything. It's about like three bucks to do one. It's dirt cheap. Alright. Alright. Alright, now we have a fire tornado very nice idea there's no glass cutting required I would have liked to try one of those straight cylinders but these lamp containers already have an open bottom straight through and well yeah I don't have the money to get a good time cut off wheel to try it I don't have that much money but if you guys like comment and subscribe maybe I can start building better stuff anyway but this is a cheap quick fire tornado that you can do with no moving parts for under five bucks. So I'm gonna take this 91% rubbing alcohol, put it in a little teacup container in the middle, light her off, and set it on top. more alcohol goes, the quicker it will get. So if you look, I left a gap under there. Right, there we go. Plug it off. Now it's our little lazy fire tornado. I'll push it down and get a better seal. It gets bigger. evaporating quicker and we get bigger. Now we have a nice fire tornado that's eight inches tall. Real quick, easy way. And this is lantern glass, so it's meant to take the heat. And it doesn't even get that warm really. So you really don't have to worry about the hot glue coming undone. Because all this is just sucking in air. And we can increase it. putting another one on top. Now look how vigorous it goes. The taller it gets, the better tornado you get. If you take this off, it's going to lose some of its luster. Put the second one on. It has more of a base. It's increasing the flow. And it gets a lot better. bigger. I'm getting a lot more fuel out of the cup down here. And a lot greater fire tornado. This one, not so much. Let's have to send
center this out. This one, you can see at the top, it's starting to lose its convection. So, we can put a second lid on the top of it and hold it straight. This little guy increases its convection too. What I've noticed is the fire tornado works better with the better seal you got, the longer it is, and the wider base of fuel to, to create it. There we go. Fire tornado. Cheap and easy, and all your air is coming in through here. You could even plumb in some piping, shove air in to make it even more vigorous. But I don't have a pump, I got a $5 budget. So we'll push this one down to seal it a little bit better, and you can see it gets a little bit taller. So it's telling me it's like that hole right there, everywhere else is causing it to be a little less lazy. I got this one, pretty good seal all the way around the base. And runs out of fuel. This one burns so much quicker. This one will burn for a while. Because, well, it's not that pulling. But if you increase the length of it, you increase the ferocity of it. Push it down to give it a little better seal. That's nice. Well, cheap, easy fire tornado. No glass cutting required. Get that at Goodwill for 99 cents. All of them are 99 cents. And you make yourself a little science experiment. Alright, hope you guys enjoy.